I was told we are getting five thousand dollars. No way! APEGA's Innovation and Education Awards were introduced in 2018 as a way for us to support innovative engineering and geoscience related projects in classrooms across the province. As a regulator of engineering and geoscience in Alberta, APEGA is investing in equipping students with the skills, knowledge, and attitudes necessary for success in the future workforce. We awarded $50,000 to 11 different schools across Alberta in seven different school districts. It always amazes us the type of projects that we, we get in the application process. We had students who created interpretive trail signs to showcase geological, ecological, and Aboriginal learnings and another school that designed a prototype robotic system to sort plastics at the landfill. They developed multimedia displays for a community observatory. They designed computer sensors to optimize plant care on Mars. We want to support the next generation of professionals in the workforce. We want to build creativity, innovation, and problem-solving skills for these students and show them how engineering and geoscience impacts their communities in a real way. The project that my kids have been working on is looking at construction forces, so the engineering part, and planet Earth, which ties in the geoscience, and they were given the task to build a structure or product prototype that an individual or community can survive a natural disaster in. My group, we're making a volcano and we're going to make it erupt. We're building a wall so that the volcano, when it erupts, it can't get to the city. We're going to put it in a cardboard box and we're going to have the wall made out of clay wrapped in aluminum foil to make it look like the wall how we'd actually built it. So our project is a small tank that's used for support in wildfires. It can be used as a recon vehicle to uh, scout out the hot spots of the wildfire or support the firefighter so no one gets hurt. Over the past year, we have been working on learning about different sources of energy in Alberta. We're putting solar panels on top of the house and it's charging the light bulb so it can power the house's light. So this is a coal mine. Here, this is how the coal will be turned into electricity. The students formed groups based on different topics that they were interested in. Then they began researching that topic and identifying current issues in that sector and possible solutions. Many students thought that they had a solution and they designed a product and realized upon testing it that it didn't turn out as they imagined. So then they had to discard that, which is so difficult, and start again and come up with an alternative solution. So lots of problem solving skills. I was supposed to have it. We're building a wind turbine to power, at this stage, a, like a cell phone charger. We had to go through a design process to figure out what we thought the best blade design would be. We are hoping to utilize this wind turbine in a legacy project that in my classroom will allow students to continually add to the alternative energy generation. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Here in Alberta, obviously oil is the big thing, right, but we got to be able to get into renewable energy and I think doing a project like this is kind of cool. Without the funding from APEGA, this project would have been a theoretical project that we would have been able to research and design on, on our computers. The funding allowed us to actually physically build it and see how it all works together. This program intentionally is structured to give award recipients access to our outreach team and our expertise in STEM education as well as access to our professional members across the province. What's STEM? Well, let's let Caden explain. Science, technology, engineering and math. As a junior high science teacher, I think STEM is super important because it takes what they're learning from a textbook, the knowledge, the stuff that I'm required as a teacher to teach them, but it applies it in their everyday life. It's really important to introduce STEM into the classroom at a young age because our world is dynamic. And when we approach teaching and learning through a STEM lens, it's real world and it brings in meaning and engagement. Personally, I believe that STEM will be important in my career because I'm planning on going to SAIT for electrical engineering. So yeah, I believe STEM will offer a fair bit of job opportunities for me. 
I believe that STEM is important because it does, it allows us to innovate. And that ability to innovate allows us to move forward as a society, as a people. Every career has a little bit of science in it, and I just want the kids to see that science is pretty cool.